<laughs> Hello guys, it's JFM again to give you another character description video. This time, it's of Taylor Tanner. Yes, I like to pronounce his name that way. Taylor Tanner. Well, let's begin, shall we? All right, what can I say about Taylor? Well, what's his story? Taylor is Jeff's best friend, and his first one. Uh, they might, well, they met in kindergarten, but they hated each other when they first met, as I already stated before in Jeff's video. Taylor always said that Jeff started the fight by throwing glue sticks at him. But after a while, their uh, little war was going on for a week, the teacher sat them down in the bad corner as punishment. That's how they got to know one uh, uh, each other, and ever since then they became best friends. It's a sweet story. Well, how about Taylor's family? How are they like? Taylor's family is full of jocks and sports fanatics. Taylor's mom is a personal fitness trainer at Mr. Bo's kick-ass gym, and she is very finicky on what her kids eat. So Taylor is forced to eat healthy food at his house, and whenever he opens a bag of chips in his room, his mom sprints right into the uh, into his room to snatch it away. Taylor has also uh, Taylor also has older twin brothers, Tim and Tom, who constantly give Taylor a hard time and body slam him to the floor. And lastly, there's Tanya, Taylor's little sister. A gymnast and born exactly two years after Taylor. Same day, different year. A little fun fact about Taylor is that while his family is into sports, he really isn't into any sport. In fact, he is not the most athletic or coordinated. He runs for 10 seconds and has to catch his breath. An obese 8 year old can beat him in a race. And that's sad, man. Anyway, I've explained that Jeff is the cynical one of the two, well, Taylor is the naive one. But he's not stupid, he's just very innocent and ignorant in how the world works. Well, he is a C student, as in he uh, gets mostly C's in his grade, in his report card, but nothing to worry about. Hey, want to know a little secret about Taylor? His first kiss was in the fourth grade, and the girl he kissed was his teacher. Now get now get your head out of the gutter. He kissed her, not the other way around. As you know, this is how, this is how it happened. Uh, Taylor sneaked in, uh, sneaked a little innocent peck on her lips while she was like uh, um, helping in on his homework. You know, he was like, "Hey teacher, could you uh, uh, hey Mrs. I forgot her name. Uh, could you help me on this?" And then she's like bending down. Uh, Looking at the paper, and then Taylor looks right at her and kiss right on her lips. But of course, he got punished for that and got a huge spanking from his mom. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of funny, I have to admit. But I digress. Taylor is one of those who uh, most likely believe in supernatural things going on, and he's always cautious to never upset anybody. Because he's very respectful like that. You know, he, he doesn't like to uh, insult any ghosts, monsters, evil robots. Because, you know, they might hurt his friends and family. So, yeah, he tries to be very respectful. Taylor's the kind of polite boy that any parent will love. And he's not ashamed to admit that he loves his mom to others. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Taylor has many likes and interests. He likes video games. Just about any video game makes Taylor happy. The longest time he played a video game in one sitting was 14 hours. What a concept! 14 hours. Could you believe that? I mean, dang. <laughs> His mom didn't like that too much. You know, since she is the fitness instructor and she wants Taylor to be active. Taylor may not be active in sports, but he likes to watch boxing and pro wrestling on TV. Taylor also likes hamsters. He prefers hamsters over cats and dogs. And of course, he doesn't own a hamster, but he always wanted one as a pet. Anything chocolate is Taylor's choice of dessert. And he also enjoys chocolate chip muffins. 
So do, uh, I mean, so does Jeff, uh, which I didn't uh, point out in his, in his video. But Taylor enjoys chocolate chip muffins more than Jeff. How's that? And as a little hobby, he likes to watch sunsets. Yes, Taylor believes that sunsets are beautiful, and he would always drag Jeff along to watch with him. Now, what does Taylor hate? Or what does Taylor... What is Taylor afraid of? Well, Taylor's afraid of many things. Although, I really don't know why. <sighs> I guess that's for a lot of us to uh, think about. It's a mystery. Well, Taylor uh, is afraid of math, ducks, goats, uh, zombies, ninjas, mushrooms, hair stylists, aliens, and onions. Like I said, I don't know why. Now, it's that time to uh, explain how I created Taylor. Well, when I was little, uh, creating my uh, my Jeff um, books, I wanted Jeff to have his own adventures, and I wanted him to have a best friend, you know, a guy to tag along in his adventures. So, while I was uh, first playing uh, Pokemon Gold version, uh, the main character you get to control, uh, well, one of his uh, choices of, of a you know, one of the names you get to pick was Taylor. So I thought that was a good name for uh, for his uh, for his friend. I even borrowed the design of, uh, of the Pokemon guy um, to actually make Taylor. Uh, only, you know, I borrowed the, the yellow shorts with uh, black trim. But I also changed uh, a few things. Uh, added my own things like uh, I made Taylor's hairstyle by myself and I added the headband with his name, along with the gray, uh, gray sweater, sweater, jacket, I don't know what it's called, uh, the gray hoodie. Yeah, and back then, Taylor was the very stupid one, you know, he was just say very stupid things, like, uh, like you know, Kel from Kenan and Kel, you know, that, that, that was one of my main influences on Jeff and Taylor, but... But yeah, over the years, I really st um, stayed away from uh, making a Keenan and Cal clone and just made Taylor a very naive and innocent guy rather than a stupid guy, you know? Although Cal is very lovable himself. But yeah, that's pretty much about it with, uh, uh, with, with, with Taylor's story. He doesn't have any main catchphrases. Um... I don't think he, he he is in love with any with anybody, except uh, he may have a little interest with the girl named Cassidy, which um, you know I'll, I'll of course I'll have a uh, a bio about her in the near future, so you get to know who she is. But since I already know all the episodes in my head, the whole series in my head and all and stuff. Taylor will fall head over heels with this one girl, but I'm not going to say who. In fact, you won't see that episode in in a very long time, so nothing to worry about now. But but hey, oh boy. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed uh, Taylor's um, bio, and hope you like this picture. So yeah. JFM out. Goodbye.